Hello and welcome to STEM in the Box uh, instructional video. This video is covering how to make the example uh, ring in Tinkercad. Uh, what you can see here is uh, basically the final product and the ring here is the aqua and then the cylinder in the middle is the representation of your finger. So the task sheet asked for you to measure your finger so in this case my finger was 17 millimeters and the ring blank or the hole in the ring there uh, would need to be an extra one millimeter either side which is two which would be 19 millimeters so the the hole of the ring would be 19 and then we would want three millimeters wall thickness uh, for the ring so that's another three either side which would be six so that'd be 19 plus six which would be 25 okay so it's important to have a um, a plan before we uh, before we model anything. Great. Okay. So let's get started with um, how we end up there. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to move that off to the side, and we're going to start again. So the primal shapes, uh, the primitive shapes that we'll be working with are. Two cylinders. So of course, you've already got your um, your ruler inside your uh, work area there. So two cylinders. One is going to be 19, uh, sorry, 17 millimeters by 17 millimeters. And let's make it the ring say eight millimeters high, which would be the thickness along your finger. And that's going to be the inner hole of the ring, so we'll make that a hole. And then this one's going to be the um, 25, which would be the outer hole, the outer diameter of the ring. So that would be 25 by 25, and that would be 8 millimeters tall as well. So 25 by 25, great. So. Let's select both of those and use the align tool in the X and the Y plane and then select both of them and group them. So now that's our ring blank which is 19 inside diameter hole and then 25 outside diameter. So that's your ring blank that should fit on my finger so you're going to start with whatever size your finger is. Okay, great. So now what we're going to do, that's our ring blank, put that over there. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to put some initials uh, wrapped around on the outside. So there's um, a whole bunch of tools, a whole bunch of ways you could do this. You could put individual letters on there and rotate them and flip them. Um, that's fine, you could do that, but that's very not a very good way to do it. What we're going to do is use one of the tools inside Community Shape Generators. And what we've got is the custom font text is what you want. So you want to drag that out. And you'll see that that is, allows us to wrap text around um, a ring and define it how we choose. So let's use the dialog box up there and put... I'm just going to use my initials. Now the inner diameter, I would recommend that you make the inner diameter um, one millimeter less than the outer diameter of the ring. So the outer diameter of my ring is uh, 25, so I would make that 24. And the reason for that is in 3D printing you don't want any, um, any voids. Um, because it leads to a, you know, a lot of problems with the 3D print. So it's a simple package, Three it's a simple package, so you're best to put odd shapes um, with in, inside each other. Great. So now the arc degrees is how much around the ring you want the text to wrap. Now the practical consideration there is if it's say 360 it's going to rub up the letters are going to rub up against your other fingers and then cause some blisters so I'm going to put 120 degrees in there now the text height would be the same as the ring which would be 8 millimeters and 
120. Good. Now, um, the thickness dialog is by default set at 3, which would be fine for us. And you'll also see there's a really good tool there where you can bring a file in and you can use the file there to emboss something um, on your ring, which is a really good thing to do. Like you could use a logo. I wouldn't use a photograph because if the ring's too small, but it would it would work, for instance, if you had a 2D photograph of a, a Batman logo or a Superman logo, um, they work really, really good. And that's probably an extension project you could do after this. Great, so let's go back to our job over here. So check it out. Now it seems that for some reason it's changed the height. That's no problem. We're going to, so the height of the text is too tall, so we're going to make that 8. Okay. Now, uh, and I'm just going to manually move that. I'm going to go to plan view so we can see that a little bit better. Now, I don't want any air spaces, so I'm going to push it down into the job. There we go, that looks pretty good. Okay. So now what I can do is join those two by grouping them. Now on the other example ring that I had over there, I put um, a shape or a star on there and we could do that pretty easily. So if we go back to basic shapes, or in fact, if you wanted to go to say symbols, you could put any of these symbols on there. We could um, use a star, so we'll use a star. So we're going to have to dimension them. So let's make it four millimeters in the X, four millimeters in the Y, and in the Z we'll make it um, two. Okay, now we're going to have to rotate that around that way that's it and what we're also going to have to do is if we bring it up say two millimeters off the ground plane okay and then what I'm going to have to do is rotate it so that it's normal to the surface of the ring okay and then I can push it back in like that and then rotate it around a little bit more. Okay, so that's got a star in between, and there's no uh, uh, voids, air pockets. Okay, that looks pretty good. So I can select both of those and group that. And that's the first second ring I made, and this is the first ring I made. So I'll lay that one down. That's it. And it's put it back on the ground plane. So type zero in there and they're the two rings. Okay. So if I wanted to take that to our slicer, I would import it. And this is now in Cura in our slicer. And so you can keep importing those different student projects into that and then print them all at once. And you can see here that both of these together are 12 minutes. So each one's only six minutes and two grams each. Great. Thanks for listening.